Standing since 1972, Raleigh, North Carolina has been what numerous people call it home. It has a deep and rich history and holds various museums, galleries, and outdoor recreation. There's no better way to dive deeper into this city and learn more about it than by doing scavenger hunts with your very own team. There's multiple self-guided ones around, with Search in the City being one of the creators of it. Search in the City has scavenger hunts not only in Raleigh, but in Cary, Durham, and the Triangle as well. Christine Martin is the founder of Search in the City, who explains more about it. So the, the inspiration behind it actually came from COVID. People were looking for ways to get out and about, but in a safe way and within their own bubbles. So I decided to take what I was already doing, my scavenger hunts that were typically with people at, ven at venues, um, and make ones where they could do it on their own, on their own time, in the safety of their own bubble, and so that's how those developed. So for the, the self-guided ones, what I did was I would first go onto Google Maps and uh, look at spots that I already knew I thought were local gyms. Um, so I strive not just to send people to, let's say, the state capital, because a lot of people who live here have already seen it. Um, not that it's not beautiful and lovely to go to and has great history, but I do try to also mix in things that people from this own city may have never explored before and be like, wow, I didn't even know this existed in my own backyard. So uh, first, I would use my own knowledge, I would look at Google Maps, I would ask people around, like, what's something that you know of in Raleigh that you feel like no one else knows about? Um, and then what I would do is I would make sure that each stop, I would do 10, 10 spots, typically on these hunts, um, and I would try to make sure each spot was no more than seven minutes away from the last spot because I didn't want people driving all of it, like, feel like they were driving most of the hunt. Um, and then I would also develop a challenge for each hunt. So something uh, fun and interactive, maybe taking a photo of a certain object there, or doing something silly on video, or finding a specific word on like a sculpture or a, a plaque. Uh, and then, so I would look for those things. Um, and then I would test it out myself. And then I would, I would test it out and see if I thought it was you know, approval of myself, but also I would get a friend or a family member to also go test it out, and I would not help them at all. I just want to see like what the true timing of it was and how difficult the tasks were, and that's like a fine balance with any of my scavenger hunts is finding challenge, but also not going to the realm of frustration because once it becomes that, it's no longer fun, and that's not our goal. Our goal is to have fun. Triangle Treasure Hunt is also another creator of these scavenger hunts around North Carolina. They have one in Raleigh, but also have it in many other locations such as Cary, Durham, Wilmington, and Asheville. We started back in 2018 uh, with Triangle Treasure Hunts, and we got the idea. Uh, my wife and I were over in Italy on vacation, mm -hmm. and we were in Florence, and we did a, um Airbnb experience that was sort of similar to what we do now. It was a, a treasure hunt where you walked around the city looking for clues and um, we were really bad at it. We, uh, we got very lost. Um, we finished dead last, um, but we actually, I had set it up with the organizer ahead of time and ac actually proposed at the end of the treasure hunt. Um, so we got engaged uh, uh, at the end of the treasure hunt. And obviously that was kind of a special, special thing for us. And, you know, we came back to Raleigh and, we started looking around and like, you know, okay, we're really bad at it, but we did have fun you know, doing this. And it was a great way to explore the town and, mm -hmm. and see some of the unique things and, um, and, and art and cultural pieces and history and all of those that, you know, we probably wouldn't have experienced had we not done that activity. And we started looking around and didn't see anything, you know, really similar to that here. Um, so that's when we started building our own. Um, so we started, yeah, started creating treasure hunts in, in 2018 and we've been doing it ever since. So um, for us, all of our scavenger hunts are roughly 60 minutes and you show up at the starting location, which could be an outdoor location. It could be a brewery, it just depends on 
on where we're at. Uh, you meet your treasure hunt guide. Mm-hmm. And so we do have a staff member that facilitates each of the events. Uh, we give you an initial briefing, how to use the materials, how to use the treasure map, safety stuff, all of that. Um, and then you set off. And usually there's um, three different phases of our of our hunts. Usually you'll get an open puzzle. Um, so think like escape room style puzzle, plus ciphers, those types of things. Um, and then this, the largest portion is the, the scavenger hunt with the map. So you get a treasure map that has different locations that you have to walk to as a team and things on the back of your map that you have to find. Uh, so we use a lot of local murals and artwork and sculptures and cool architecture and historical pieces and mm-hmm. all those sorts of things um, that you're looking to find. And then once you find everything on your map, you come back to that, that starting location and you have um, one a couple puzzles at the end uh, to eventually get a three-digit code to unlock the, the treasure chest. So it's similar in similar to like an escape room um, that a lot of people are familiar with, except for us, you're not trying to break out of the room. You're trying to figure out how to get the code to break into the treasure chest. I've always been a, like attracted to puzzles. So I, I love the puzzles piece of it. It's mm-hmm. getting to design some of those. But then, you know, I think also we I love the feedback we get when um, people enjoy their experience and they tell us, you know, that was a really cool way to explore the area or people that, um, you know, maybe they've lived in, you know, Durham their entire lives, but they come and do our Durham treasure hunt. And they tell us, well, we saw a bunch of things that we had never even noticed before, mm-hmm. you know, in, in living in Durham. So kind of like that, that exploration yeah. um, piece and be able to inspire others to do that. Especially now with summer coming up, Be sure to gather a team and go for a scavenger hunt around the city to explore and learn more about it and to have fun.